Good morning to you. Thanks for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Molly Hendrickson. And I'm Brian Sanders. Let's get right to our top stories. A statewide order starts this morning that everyone must stay home. The governor says this is the best way to save lives and help stop the spread of the coronavirus. You should not leave your home unless you have to get food or other necessities. Grocery stores, liquor stores and pot shops will remain open. You can leave if you're seeking medical care, caring for a vulnerable person in another location or a pet and to go to and from work. And you can only travel to work if you're considered a critical employee. That list includes health care workers, any city utility worker, including water, power, fuel, hotels and businesses that provide food and shelter and workers at food processing plants, grocery stores and pharmacies. There are so many more and first responders say please do not call 911 to get more information. We've posted the complete list on the DenverChannel.com. By acting boldly now, we can limit the duration of this economic crisis rather than have to suffer through additional restrictions on workplace and free commerce for a long period of time. We can effectively contain this virus by engaging in these measures now. be called uh, to help enforce this order. It's really up to you to do your part to help flatten the curve. People were out in Wash Park Wednesday despite Denver's stay at home order. The parks are open. You can leave your home to walk, bike, run or hike. Just maintain that social distance. This new statewide order stays into effect until April 11th, but that date could change. The number of deaths nationwide has now topped 1,000. Here in Colorado, we surpassed 1,000 positive cases. 19 people have died, and that is why it is so important to follow the stay-at-home order. And we have breaking news in Inglewood. A two-alarm fire at the waste management facility near Santa Fe and Union is creating a lot of smoke this morning. South Metro Fire says it's getting 911 calls because of that smoke. If you smell smoke, close your windows. Now here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your first alert forecast. It is going to be yet again another beautiful day. The winds picked up a touch yesterday, but then the temperatures also soared because of it. We were well into the 60s yesterday. This morning, you're walking out the door to 30s. You're going to find again a mostly sunny sky and some pretty quiet weather to start the day. As far as the warm up goes, we're likely going to be by noon again close to 60 with more low to mid 60s this afternoon for highs. Those southwesterly winds are going to pick up again in spots. It's going to be a little breezy to gusty at times, but again, another very warm day. Tomorrow, a good 20 20 degrees colder. It is going to be also with that a rain snow mix for us here across the plains.